Welcome back to another episode of Roots Unearthed. And as you can see, our foundation is pretty much done. here have worked pretty much 12 plus hours every single day uh, I'm just trying to get this brick done it has rained a little bit since uh, everything's been in so it's a bit muddy here but it looks like we are pretty much all set uh, we're awaiting inspection and then we have some drainage pipe to put uh, around the perimeter um, before filling in some doing some backfill and hopefully starting framing so we are coming along really nicely all this work was done in just one week so i'm really happy with the crew here and uh i did not obviously do any of this myself uh, my work won't really begin until we are uh, fully framed and that's when i'll start working on some of the finish work the tiling cabinetry and so forth we love how this brick turned out it's the uh, pine hall barker house with the white sand uh, mortar um, so you can see here really it's not that high off my back porch um, after the footers and everything will probably be as tall as me so about five five foot eight uh, approaching six feet here so it's not too tall off the ground uh, which is good and bad you know I can't put as much storage underneath in the crawl space as I'd hope to um, but there's definitely enough space here um, under the porch if I want to store some tools maybe a ride on mower or something like that um, if I'm not going to be using the tractor the whole time so our crawl space entrance here uh, it's once again it's not too tall I hopefully we have enough space for a water heater. Uh, although just judging by how short this is, I may end up going with a instant hot water heater because that's gonna be a, a little bit smaller or, or a lot smaller. But overall, we're very pleased with how this came out. I think it looks awesome. Uh, our fireplace is gonna look like this as well uh, because we are putting a real wood fireplace in this house because we want to be able to withstand any storms, any hurricanes, any power losses. And it's just uh, one of the things where I have a lot of trees here. So uh, there's no shortage of firewood. And I think that's something that we can use to save money, reduce our bills in the future as well. So for everyone who has subscribed so far, thank you so much as we're trying to, to uh, grow this channel. If you have any questions about our build process, what we're doing, feel free to put a comment down below and please like this video. Um, like I said, every week we're going to have an update here on how our build process is going. And then otherwise for the farm to give a little update, we are going to be planting about a half acre today. Yesterday or two days ago, I tilled and uh, fertilized and limed. So today I'm going to be planting, um, just trying to get the rest of our pasture up and running. And we'll be putting out some uh, Kentucky 31 today, which is kind of the cheapest grass seed, but it's going to be at least something to get us started. So today we're going to be planting Kentucky 31 uh, tall fescue. So for our pasture, I mean, to be honest, I'm just trying to get anything in there. I, we did seed clover. So we have some clover. We have a lot of wild grasses. We have a lot of weeds. So for now, we're going to just get something. Eventually we'll, we'll, uh, you know, diversify our pasture a bit more probably next year or next spring. It's okay if we overseed. Yeah. 
I think that's fine. There's nothing there. Pen, watch out. Come on, Pen. So a few days ago, as I mentioned, we tilled and it's just rained the past few days. So this is super muddy. So unfortunately the, the tractor really sank in some areas and kind of screwed it up a little bit. I, I know I probably should have waited, but it's Labor Day and I got to get this done. So I think it's going to be fine. It's grass after all. And uh, the, oh, the, the reason that we're doing small batches is because I want to be able to water this. So if I just did the whole field and threw it, I, I probably could, but uh, at least this way I can control this hopefully getting this whole quarter acre paddock up and ready um, for springtime. So uh, let's get strolling. Well, that's it for this episode of Roots on Earth. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. And uh, we'll be following up next week with another video. Hopefully, we are going to start framing next week. Till next time. See you then.